So Prince William is shading the middle tins and a Thomas Kingston update. Something is just a bit odd. Hey guys, it's Moral Brody. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back again, it is daily and consistent content. Please do subscribe to the channel. It's just one click to subscribe. That's it. If you're watching this and you have not subscribed, you're missing out on 24 seven everyday content. Shout out to those who've joined as members. I also appreciate that as well. Welcome to the club. Now, Ascot Day has got all the royals out, you know, enjoying themselves. And they all look great, to be honest with you, outside of Sophie Edwards, absolute mess. But the Middletons are back. And I think that their comeback at the same time after Kate's returning is odd. It's giving negotiations or deals or something behind the scenes was done. And William and Carol Middleton seem to be getting off well. They're having a hoot. They are in cahoots. They seem to be, you know, just enjoying each other's time. William is spending a lot of time with the Middleton's father and mother, and it looks like everything is going well between them. But Prince William is throwing shade because once he uploaded pictures on Ascot Day of, you know, his greatest moments, there were so many pictures of him with the Middletons, but yet he posted none of those at all on his platforms. There are no pictures professionally from his side of him chilling with the Middletons, having fun with them, when there was a picture of William with Carol and Carol's shoe got stuck in the grass and he was trying to help her get out. Basically just having a fun moment together in the sun. You know, everyone looks great, but he didn't post any of those moments with the Middletons on his page. Why is he not posting with his in-laws? Like, I don't understand. Um, it's shade to me indirectly or very much directly. And I know that Carol and Michael would be like, well, you know, they would feel a type of way. I'm not saying that they're gonna feel hatred, but they're gonna be like, well, you posted everybody away the Ascot but us, and you were chilling with us quite a lot. That's shady, that's how I would take it. So I feel like that could be a message in disguise, but all in all, everybody is out at the Ascot. So you see Zara Tyndall, you see Eugenie, you see Beatrice, you see Camilla, you see Charles, everybody's there having a great time with this Ascot week. I have some friends going to Ascot. I personally never gone. I don't find any interest in Ascot. I don't understand why people do, but each to their own. Um, who else makes a return to Ascot is Lady Gabriella, Thomas Kingston's wife. Now, to me, this is very bizarre. Sorry, that is an airplane. I believe Kate Middleton is on that airplane and she is on the way to either Houston, Texas, or to the surgery's office. Now, um, get Lady Gabriella Windsor returning to Ascot to me is odd. This is the Thomas Kingston update that I want to speak to you guys about. Now, I wanna make this point without being too judgmental, or being too rude. It is difficult for her to return. They were there last year with Thomas, she and him together, and now she's returned this year, and everybody grieves in a different way, but I do find it interesting that she has immediately returned to the same places and events that she was attending with her husband and how she's doing so well with this. I just feel like your husband has committed suicide, apparently, you know, and it was a very disgusting graphic detail of what happened to him. And she seems to be out and about and everything seems to be fine. And it's like, you are in the same place where your ex used to, where your ex-husband, you know, now past has been. How are you coping with this? Like, how are, how are you coping with this? Like, I don't know, to me, to me, it looks like something in the buttermilk is not clean and I don't want to overstep my boundaries because everybody grieves in their own way. And who's to say she hasn't been grieving behind the scenes? Of course she has, you know, her husband has passed away in such a disgusting manner. But for her to be at all of these events now, um, where her husband used to be with her and she seems to be okay is remarkable. That's just what I'm gonna say. It is remarkable. My question is just, how are you coping with this? Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know how you're coping with this, but you seem to be doing pretty well. Now, Andrew and Charles are still at war. They are going at each other when it comes to this house. And why? Because Camilla wants his house. And whatever Camilla wants, King Charles is going to provide. And that is why he's trying to get Andrew out of the house immediately. He's playing into the legal matters. They're still in a gridlock. Nothing's getting better. I just wanted to give you guys a very quick update that they are still in that same position, but more so because Camilla wants to live there. She wants that house. And of course, there will come a time where William wants that house. And we know where that's heading, where Camilla and William will have their own issues down the line. But whatever Camilla wants, King Charles will provide. And I just wanted to give you guys a quick update, a couple of stories. 
Um, I just feel like something in the bottom oak is not clean with the Middletons all coming out and everybody, you know, is together playing happy families, you know, saving their faces, all content, everything's good, everything's green, you know, they've all moved on, looking great in dresses at the escort events, like the last six months didn't even happen, like, you know, we've all just been confused, we've all been lied to, we've all been gaslit, um, we've all had our mental played with, you know, like, did we, you know, worry more than we should have? It's just bizarre how their PR did this stuff almost to me on purpose that they could have the royal family talked about more because there's nothing that the royal family love more than a controversy, scandal, situation where they're talked about. I don't know. That's why they always have Megan in their mouth. Subscribe, comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. Please do subscribe. It's just one click, free Palestine, all day, every day with my absolute chest. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video.